Nothing. Just looking around. This is private property. I meant no harm. It's quite a place you got. It's very nice, but it ain't mine. I'm farming it for some other fell. I had some bad luck on my place. Fella here had some bad luck himself. Him and his family got hit hard by the sickness. Him and his daughter went off traveling, trying to deal with the sadness, I guess. Traveling, huh? Lucky them. <laughs> I guess. Pretty good pay for me, though. Good for you. Always feels like we're one mishap away from everything falling apart out here. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry, we'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the East and never came back. Must be getting on for 10 years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Look, I think I see someone. Come on. Let's go. 